Hey, Spuddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Spain. Now, where we left off, we were about to choose our production over here. So, uh, this is Salamanca, and it just finished its holy site. I think I would like to get a little bit more faith in the end of the game here, just to see if we could maybe squeeze out another um, national park or two. Probably won't. The game is probably towards its end. And uh, I may as well grab a factory in here because that'll provide production for a few of these cities around here. Probably could have grabbed it earlier in the game, but I wasn't too concerned about it. I'm going to kind of rest these builders in place for a little bit. Um, and then I'm also going to be trading with... I want to trade with Arabia. I want to make sure I have active trade routes with everyone and I have multiple active trade routes so they never run out. So I'm getting that plus 75% uh, bonus for having a trade route for tourism. So I'm hoping to double my tourism in the next 20 turns by getting the computer's technology. I would love to get the electricity boost. It's probably not going to happen. And I think it is about time that we got rid of public works and we put in e-commerce. So that'll be plus five production, plus 10 gold from international trade routes. Uh, that'll, that'll really help out my empire a little bit here. Then... That is that uh, what else do we need to do that's it we're just waiting for electricity and computers at this point so choose civic I'm thinking we could go for future civic we could also pick up some of these older civics that I kind of skipped like reform church uh, nuclear program totalitarianism class struggle and future civic just to keep the, the civic tree nice and busy while we win the game so, again, I want to drop down forests here. Oh, it's going to be disagreeable and not let me do that. Let's go ahead and grab a shipyard. Let's grab the temple. And let's grab the entertainment district. Put a forest there. Let's grab the entertainment district. You hold there for a turn. One more turn until radio. One more turn until we can get some of these seaside resorts on the go. I have a naturalist making its way over to Zaragoza. Because I want to make another national park over there. I was tempted to put see some seaside resorts over here. But I think a national park will do the trick just fine. I should have known you'd stoop so low as to use espionage against me. I apologize. I will cease these operations at once. Reform church. Choose escape route on foot. Okay, he was killed in Lauston. Let's keep democracy open. And then over here, we may as well stick down a lumber mill. Let's get the seaside resort. So seaside resorts, for me, produce double tourism. So they're eight tourism. They will go up quite a bit. More seaside resorts. It won't let me place forests here. I am confuzzled, confused, and unamused. Listening post increases diplomatic visibility by plus one. Uh, maybe it's because you can't put... Can you not put forests beside fresh water? I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Uh, pillage all buildings in the industrial zone. Excellent. So you pulled it off. Go ahead and increase diplomatic visibility by one. Just to keep you busy for six turns with a low risk mission. Well, a low risk mission. A zero risk mission. Really. Um, I may see, may try to see if I can get friendships back with John Curtin and get an alliance with him. So I can send trade routes to him for a lot of boosts. Okay, let's see if we can get an alliance with China. So he will take that, and he would probably pay me a bit of money for that. That seems like a reasonable one. Excellent. Okay, who am I missing open borders with right now? Uh, looks like I have open borders with everyone who will give it to me. Uh, Poland and Macedonia don't like me. And so I'm not too concerned about their... Uh, status right now. Appeal. Aha! We could put a seaside resort over here. Put another forest here. That'll give us a slight boost. Designate this a national park. And we can see the tourism here is 25. Excellent. We'll be able to get another naturalist here in the not too distant future. Why don't you scooch over here and see if you can improve some of these tiles. 
Just gained sources. Again, I want to keep you busy while I try to win the game. Electricity is on the way to computers, after which we should start generating an absurd number. Although we might even win before we get to um, computers. Yeah, it's entirely possible that we could win this episode, which would be a really fast game. 13 episodes is pretty quick. We finished the campus, although we are generating like an absurd amount of tourism right now. Triggers all the Eurekas for the information to error technologies. A lot of these things I'm not too worried about. Uh, you know, I never built a monument in my capital. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Estadio, I never meant to actually finish that. I meant to finish the Estadio de Maracana, but it's okay. I may not even finish that before I win the game. Let's get some more builders, and you can make your way up over to here. See if you can help out with these seaside resorts. There may be a seaside resort down here or two if I go ahead and do the appeal. Yeah, if I were to get rid of that rice, that could be a seaside resort. Do some trading with China. China. Uh, you know what? We may as well get this online. With pearls. Why not? Doesn't cost me anything. Seaside Resort. Hell yeah. Five. Seaside Resort's uh, um, Crystal Redentor plus Eiffel Tower is crazy good. Crazy good. Okay, we're getting like five tourists per turn. I'm pretty confident we can finish this game in this episode. Let's grab a factory. And let's grab a thingy doodle. I'll probably remove this cattle after I finish the Great Zimbabwe and see if I can plop down a uh, seaside resort on some of these tiles. Nuclear power. Not that I really care about these. Choose thingy stupa. Go ahead and get an arena just for the extra amenity. I know we're drowning in amenities, but come on. Full housing from water. Hansa bonus. Hatusa rather. Strategic resource. Receive cinnamon cloves. I may as well take that from some whoever has it. My own luxury boost. Gives me 12 copies of luxuries. Or 12, 12 instances of amenities, rather. Uh, we'll wait here for the Great Zimbabwe to be finished. So she's denouncing me again because I stole her city state. Look, just be mad, okay, Poland? See if I give a damn. Stay mad, kid. Stay mad. Oh, I remember back, back in the day... Calling someone kid, that was like the easiest way to get someone to be mad at you. Miss the, the the toils of a misspent youth. Figuring out what is the most effective way to make someone angry. Um Builders Sure. Sure, I'll go ahead and grab the library. So it might save me a tiny bit of time on computers. You never know. You never know. Two more turns. Go ahead and remove that. We'll go to the next unit. Go ahead and get the oil up. Although that requires what tech? Requires plastics. So perhaps that's a waste of our time. Let's get these pearls up. Seaside resort. Mm, look at that. 12 tourism base. Just 12 raw tourism per turn from these seaside resorts. It's a thing of beauty, my friends. It's a thing of beauty. Jesus, we're about to win. We're like a, like super, super close. Yeah, we're like two turns away from winning. We didn't even get to finish the stadium, the Maracanã. <laughs> oh, man. Let's just keep these cities busy for the meantime. We, we did get to finish the Zimbabwe, though. Seven. Fourteen base. God damn. Unit needs orders, plant woods, more seaside resorts. Go ahead and get the fishing boats and we'll go into the next turn.
Benjamin King Solomon. There's the great Zimbabwe. All she desired and asked for, besides what he had given her out of his royal bounty. So she turned and went to her own country, she and her servants. Excellent. There's the great Zimbabwe. Franklin may have discovered electricity, but it was the map. And we will put the seaside resort there. That means we can now harvest this cattle and put a seaside resort in its place, I think, right? Oh, it might not have enough appeal. Oh, well, let's not do that and say we did. Go ahead and build a factory. I know you'll never finish it, but I just want to keep you busy. Similarly, seaport, similarly, shipyard. Just kind of keeping my cities busy because we're one turn away from winning the game. So what we actually do doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of uh, of winning. Yeah, I'm winning. Yeah, well, I may as well build things. Just uh, just keep moving. Go ahead and steal a tech boost for what it's worth. It's not worth much because we're about to win. Seaside resort, sure, sure. Why not make a seaside resort? Let's not resort to petty measures. Oh, 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 oh. I apologize. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Are you joking me? Well, at least I got to finish the Stadium de Maracan, yeah? I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying it right. I'm sure the comments will absolutely be very forgiving and kind in, in correcting how I say it. Faith! Seaside Resort! Seaside Resort! Look at this. Hmm. I didn't even get computers! I'm kind of upset. I didn't even get to computers. I won without getting to computers. That just seems like that was a... I, I think... I don't think you could actually make that game happen. Um, what I mean by that is, that, that, was, that game that we just played, that was like a stars align kind of game. I, I somehow, I got a relic early, I got the tourism relic boost, I found a natural wonder with lots of culture on it, which let me get through the culture tree really fast early. Like, all the stars aligned for me to win a really, really early, um, a really, really early tourism victory. Because like... This is a really early tourism victory, not in terms of the number of turns in the game, but in terms of what I, of, of the normal optimal route through the tech tree, because normally you would get computers way, way, way earlier. Whereas I have this sort of, I have this sort of tourism that you usually only see after you have computers, which is 830 base. So like, I don't know how to adequately explain this, but typically what I would have normally done in one of these kind of games is I wouldn't have gone for the steel. I would have actually gone for computers and then steel. But in this game, I went steel then computers. And simply due to the fact that we got so many relics and that those relics were boosted by the fact that we had a religion that gave us the relic boosts, it just made it crazy. This also helped a little bit, the um, plus one great person thingies. That helped quite a bit in getting my great works up nice and early. And we got kind of lucky too in our land. Like, a lo like, this was a stars aligned kind of game when it comes to just how well it went for us. We were isolated. We found six city-states first and got the first envoy. Um, we were able to maintain the relationships with those city-states pretty much the entire game. Uh, all of the AIs were placed on a single huge landmass to compete with each other and not compete with me. And um, what else? I'm trying to think what else went in our favor. Then the this... this um, this natural wonder played a huge part in me winning the game. Um, it may not seem like it, but getting three tourism base on our first city from like turn 15 to 20 or whatever it was that we got this has just been huge throughout the game. This has probably generated something in the realm of what is 200, 270 turns, say, times three, like a thousand tourism, which might, you know, you might say that's only two tourism. That's only two turns of tourism. It's like or, or two turns of of culture. But that, it was doing that ages and ages and ages ago. And then we got like, we got lots of sea, but we also got Auckland, like pretty much like the, this was really a, a stars aligned kind of game. We got Auckland for all, for God's sake, with a lot of water in our empire. We got, um, who was the other one? 
Uh, Kumasi helped us out really early too. Then we also had, there was another one. This one was giving us early amenities. I just, it seems like everything aligned to really just help us along. That's how I feel at least. But yeah, this has been a really fun game. How do I check the score? Oh, I guess I, because I exited, I guess I just don't get to check it anymore. But yeah, this went really well. We didn't even get computers. If we had computers, we'd be getting 1600 tourism per turn. I think I could have even won this quicker had I been uh, maintaining trade routes with all the AI players. So that's definitely one area of improvement that I could have done. But really, really, we just got super lucky. It was really fun. Look at this. Mont Saint Michel has 39. 39. 39 goddamn tourists from Mont Saint Michel, thanks to these two um, relics in it. Amazing. We probably wouldn't have been able to pull this off in the same way on Didi. We probably would have gotten a lot less wonders, and the AI probably would have been a little bit more aggressive. They would have settled probably some of this territory here. But yeah, I think I think overall, though, this went really well for me. So I want to thank you guys. I know this episode is going to be a little bit shorter than usual. Um, I want to know what you guys think about this game. What did you think about this game? What was your... What, what did you find interesting? Did you, did you like the fact that I was isolated? Would you prefer to see more games like this one? This was just an accident, but... You know, when I'm recording, sometimes I do scrap a game if I don't think it's interesting. But is this the sort of game that you find interesting? Would you like to see more games of me isolated? Because I can, I could try to selectively try and make some isolated games. Um, would you like to see more games of me fighting the AI? Do you want to see more war games? All those sorts of questions are usually ones that I'm open to at the end of a series. Now, just keep in mind though, because by the time you see this episode, I will probably have recorded the next series. I've, I will have started it. I will have done at least the first like three to four episodes um but i will i will still take that stuff on board for when i'm going into the next one you know what i mean like if people are want to talk about oh i want you to do more war i want you to do i want to see you do a science victory i want to see you do an xyz victory i want you to play this civilization you know if you've got any of those kind of ideas just throw them at me i'm more than happy to hear them and uh, i'm more than happy to give them a go if they sound interesting to me but yeah that's uh that's it that's this episode so I would want to uh, I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series and me playing Civilization in general. Make sure you subscribe if you aren't already. If you want to see more videos from me, remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.